There are fields, endless fields, where human beings are no longer born. We are grown. Biological ascension gives you complete control over the evolutionary destiny of every species in your empire. But is it any good and how does it stack up to the other two ascension paths? In this video we're going to find out, so without any further ado let's dive in. Biological ascension allows you to unlock the genetic potential stored in your pops. It's the only ascension path available to hive mind empires and it's one of the three ascension paths available to regular empires. In order to biologically ascend you'll have to take the engineered evolution ascension perk along with the evolutionary mastery ascension perk. And to truly unlock the potential of your pops you will need the genetic resequencing technology which becomes available after you've completed evolutionary mastery. And once you have all of these you'll be able to get some fantastic traits on your biological pops. Traits that will improve their intelligence, their robustness and their ability to breed. In order to take the first stage of this engineered evolution you'll have to complete two traditions and take one ascension perk. Additionally, you have to research the gene tailoring technology. This will unlock the genetic modification feature which is essential to biological ascension. Once you've taken engineered evolution, in addition to gene tailoring, you'll have a total of four gene modification points and a nice 25% reduction to the Modify Species Special Project. You'll also unlock the ability to build clone vats. Clone vats can be constructed on your planet, they have quite a high food upkeep of 30 food, but they allow you to assemble people from scratch. Yes, that's right, you'll get monthly pop assembly capacity. Once you've researched the glandular acclimation technology, which allows you to modify the habitability preference of your pops, and completed a third tradition tree, you'll then be able to take evolutionary mastery. This is almost the last step of genetic ascension, you are on the very cusp of unlocking the potential of all of your pops. You'll now have at least plus 7 gene modification points as well as a 25% reduction to the Modify Species Special Project cost. And in society research you'll unlock the ability to research genetic resequencing which you should get when it's possible. And all of the power of this ascension lies here in the Species tab. From this tab we can create and edit the templates of our pops. And if you're enjoying this video please genetically engineer the like button. After just the first level of biological ascension you won't be able to remove positive traits, that requires the special technology we just mentioned, but you can remove some of the negative traits on your pops and add positive traits as well, as you're going to have quite a few more trait points to spend. Once you've created your template you can choose to apply it to as many different planets as you have that population on. This application will cost you society research, but you're going to get a nice 25% discount for having taken the first level of this ascension perk. Whilst you are modifying these pops you will have to put your society research on hold and put it into this species modification project. Even if you haven't converted any pops over to this new template you've created, you can still assemble pops like this using your clone vats. Simply click on the assembling pop icon and choose the specific pop you'd like to build. When you get to the end of this ascension path technologically speaking, you'll then be able to get some fantastic traits on your pops. You can of course remove all of the traits they have and simply build from the ground up. These brilliant traits include Erudite which will give you plus 20% researcher output and plus 1 leader level cap, Robust plus 30% habitability, a nice 5% bonus to resources from jobs and a very juicy plus 50 years leader lifespan. Fertile is a very simple trait that gives you a whopping 30% additional pop growth speed and minus 10% pop housing usage. Nerf stapled is a trait very very good for your slave classes if you have them and even if you don't have them and you are an egalitarian empire you can slap this trait on certain xeno species and basically they're going to behave like slaves. It will give them an extra 5% bonus to resources from jobs, they will not be able to generate leaders and cannot be employed in ruler or specialist jobs. But they will not be affected by happiness. Nerve stapled is very very nice if you have a chattel slavery species in your empire and they're getting a bit unhappy. Best to take away their rights and their ability to think. 
Finally, if you're having some food issues and you've invaded some pot foreign worlds, you can modify the Xenos on those worlds and give them the delicious trait. That means if they are livestock slaves, they'll produce an additional plus two food. It's also worth mentioning you can put such great traits on as Void Dweller if you manage to get your hands on a habitat preference species, what you're going to want to do is create a very wide array of templates. So here I have a nice template for my worker pops. I'm going to give them nerve staple because they don't need to think. I'll also give them agrarian, ingenious and industrious to boost all of their basic resource output along with aquatic. Then I've got a nice specialist pop here. They're going to have fertile, I'd like them to grow a bit faster, robust and erudite for lots of nice researcher output along with base resources from jobs output. Finally, here's a cool ruler pop with robust for extra leader lifespan, erudite just in case for an extra 20% and then charismatic so I get some nice additional amenities from jobs. By applying these templates to only specific planets at a time and then migrating the pops around you can through a little bit of micromanagement get a very lovely balance of pops across your empire. But what do you think about genetic ascension? Let me know down in the comments below. It's also a very good idea to set the species which is fertile to grow fastest on your planets. By doing this and setting a prioritized species, you will get a minus 10% growth speed malice, but it's a lot better to have a net positive of plus 20% here than possibly grow a species without the fertile trait. And then after you've grown a number of these fertile pops, you can transform them into pops without the fertile trait and thus free up those trait points for better and more useful traits that don't involve pop growth. Overall, the bonuses you'll get from all of these extra traits, as well as having really good traits, mean that this Ascension Path is definitely more powerful than Psionic Ascension, but due to the technology requirements, it is going to take you longer to get to the end of this Ascension Path than it will getting to the end of the Psionic Path. On top of that, because we need to do lots of species modification, and we need to apply lots of different templates to lots of different pops on lots of different worlds, Applying these templates is going to take lots and lots of additional society research, so fully sorting everything out will come quite a bit after a species that has psionically ascended. However, because all of these technologies are from the society tree, you won't have to miss out on any military or economic technologies in order to get to the end of this ascension path. Society research is generally the weakest of the three technology trees. When we take a hive-minded species and we combine it with this ascension path, we can get some really nice things happening. First off, hive minds have access to hive worlds, which grant an additional spawning drone job. You can also put a spawning pools down along with your clone vats. That means if we combine all of this with the budding trait, which I would definitely recommend you put on any species if you're planning on going for a biological ascension, we can get some very high pop assembly capacity along with phenomenally high pop growth. Together this assembly and pop growth doesn't quite beat synthetic Synthetic Ascension's assembly and combined pop growth that it can achieve, but it is still very, very powerful and you can get to this point quite a bit earlier than a Synthetic Ascension. Additionally, if you take the Erudite trait and you get it on your leaders, you'll get some nice bonuses. Plus 5% ship fire rate, plus 10% disengagement chance for admirals, a nice 5% research speed for scientists, and plus 5% from all of your different research jobs on your planet if you've got a governor. And with armies, you get a nice 5% extra army damage and 10% more disengagement chance, which can keep your armies alive for longer. Something else to note, as a hive mind empire, when you complete your biological ascension path, you'll be able to turn non-hive mind pops into hive minded pops. Overall, Biological Ascension Path is probably the weakest of the three Ascension Paths. It doesn't have the speed that Psionic Ascension has, which is Psionic Ascension's big strength. It is able to get all of its bonuses very, very early, and then it can go on the aggressive. And over a long enough period of time, it doesn't have the raw pop growth and all of the extra bonuses that you're going to get from Synthetic Ascension. So Synthetic Ascension will outcompete Biological Ascension if you leave it long enough. And that means it sits in this weird middle ground between the two where depending on your point of view it is not stronger than either of them but at a certain point in the game around the mid game it can be stronger than both but it is only a fleeting window. 
Though there is one secret strength that Biological Ascension has, and that is the ability to conduct a genetic template heist and get your hands on fantastic traits you wouldn't otherwise be allowed to get. Like Psionic from the Psionic Ascension Path or Cybernetic from the Synthetic Ascension Path. If you'd like to know how to conduct a genetic template heist, click the video on screen now.